Well, Durham police are investigating a possible murder-suicide that left two people dead and another seriously injured. It happened on the 1000 block of Oakwood Avenue around two, uh, 9.30 last night. WNCN's Emma Wright has been talking with neighbors and she now joins us live from the scene with the very latest. Emma. Well, Durham police say they are still investigating. They say they haven't released much information since last night. Neighbors tell me a woman had recently moved into this house over here. They say she had some family members visiting when this shooting happened. A few mem family members and neighbors, they have started a small memorial in the driveway. That's where Durham police say that woman and a man were shot and killed. We're going to show you what the scene looked like last night. Durham police say when they arrived here at 1007 Oakfield Avenue, they found a man and a woman dead in the driveway and another man seriously injured. Neighbors say those gunshots could be heard se several, for several blocks and they say what happened was tragic and scary. At about, I don't know, maybe 9.30 and heard the gunshots. I was just down the street and then saw police car, fire engine, ambulance and was surprised that it happened in this neighborhood and certainly very sad. And we're giving you another live look at that small memorial in the driveway. We have talked with a lot of neighbors in this area. They say this is a very close-knit community. They say what happened is tragic and shocking. I also talked with Durham police about an hour ago. They say they have not released the names of the people involved because they are still waiting to notify all of the family members. We will, of course, continue to follow this story and bring you the latest tonight on the news at 6 and 7. Reporting live this morning in Durham, I'm Emma Wright, WNCN News. Emma.